Um, so, Eddie, first, just on today's event, if you could just touch base on what exactly happened today and the project that was launched here at UNISA. Yeah, look, uh, I think it was a good initiative. I fully supported it because that was the missing link from our legend and master's department, you know? Mm -hmm. Because uh, remember, during our play days, we didn't mix education and football much. It was only football, football, you know, play, make money, how you squash your money, it was nobody's business. How to save, invest, was nobody's business. Yeah, look, we didn't have education much when it comes to that department of investing and saving money, you know, and also get educated for, for, for in terms of having another leg to lean on after football. That's why you see most of the legends after football, they're struggling a lot. Yeah, thanks to UNISA, Safla and La Liga to come with this initiative. I think it's going to help and it's going to do wonders. Uh, we'll stop seeing this uh, poverty in, in legend and masters. And then if we could just switch focus a quick cross-field pass to, to the Epsa Premiership and to your former club, Orlando Pirates. Um, how do you think they've done this season? Um, obviously, are you a bit shocked by how well they did last season and how they're struggling in the first few months of the, the current campaign? Yeah, look, uh, not shocked per se, uh, because I know there was what, one headlight that uh, really disturbed the whole uh, uh, system, the departure of the coach, you know. I think if he, he, he didn't uh, leave the team, we could have been talking another language, but he left and then uh, he left that vacuum where Rulani has to take over the whole pressure uh, on his shoulders, you know. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll give a typical example. I'm very close to my daughter. I just feel that uh, one day if I can just vanish next to her or maybe pass, passed away, she's going to struggle a lot. She's going to need a lot of, lot of counseling. I think that's what is needed at Pirate now. Uh, mentally strong, they, they're not mentally strong after the departure of the coach. But not the panic button. I, I think uh, slowly they're regrouping. You can see uh, their past recent uh, games. I mean, they, they, they create so many chances. It's just they miss, they don't bury the chances. I don't know whether is decision making or is concentration? Yeah, but uh, I, I'm just thinking that uh, the coaches will work around that department. Uh, at first we were like uh, open at the back. Now the the back door has been shut. It's only now goals goals opportunities that are not uh, utilizing that. Obviously, Coach Rolani was putting into a difficult situation, obviously, like you said, Michel left. What advice do you have for him? Um, obviously, like you touched on, it's a very difficult situation to, to be thrown into a position like that in your coaching career when you're just, you know, just starting as a head coach. Yeah, look, uh, all I can say to him, he said uh, he must just hang on there, uh, do his best, you know? I know he's a, he's a mastermind. You know, he can turn things around, you know. All he needs is the, the, the necessary support. All he has to do now, uh, he, he needs to work on the mental strength of the players. Because that's, that's what they mean. Tactically and formations and otherwise, we can all see is there. The mental strength, that's all is needed now to the players. And then uh, as, as, as supporters, we need to give him a fully support, you know, we need to he, he's still on the, on the building process, you know, so we need to give him uh, a fully support, you know, and know why supporters uh, start panicking and all that, because at this point in time, Pirate uh, is not supposed to be lying where he's lying. 
but this is a situation we need to deal with it. And I know supporters, parent supporters, the results driven. That is why now the panicking and uh, screaming and all doing all those tantrums, you know. All we have to do must just support the coach. I mean, uh, one of our own, uh, Pito Bishimani, Gavin Hunt, uh, it, it took them years to, to be where they are, you know, to be amongst the best uh, in the world, you understand? So we must just give the young boy, he's still young, yeah, we, we, we need to give him that support. A big talking point this season has obviously been the match officials uh, benefiting, as, as uh, the media has called it, um, and fans have called it. Um, what have you made of the refereeing standard in South Africa, and where do you think we can improve in that aspect going forward? Yeah, you see, when you talk about our referees, the, 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 I'm, I'm not saying, I, I won't say they cheat. They, they don't just know how to ref. You understand? Because cheating is when you, you rip me off one team every time. Now, this ones make the very same mistake at Polokwani, the very same mistake at Sada, the very same mistake. So, they don't know the rules of the game. I think our referee need a refresher course. You know, Safa must do something about them because they're spoiling the game. And, and remember, that... Uh, Goal disallowed, or that goal that wasn't given, somebody he might lose his job, he might lose his life on the day, you understand? So, our reference the the causing a big damage in our football. And then, I think they must also remove this law or this clause of reference decision is final because their decisions are not final, they are diabolical. Um, and just lastly, if we could just go back to Pirates, are there any players um, that have stood out for you and any players at the moment in the current team that you like watching? Look, uh, uh, for now, I think because it's still early in the first round, you know, everybody is not sure whether uh, we must attack or get attacked. Everybody's waiting for a counter, you know. So maybe late uh, uh, second round, that's where every, most players will come out of their shells, you know. And remember, there's a lot of chop and changing of coaches, you know. So while players are on this constitution, a new coach will come, change the whole thing, come with this new constitution, that uh, we no longer play 4 4 2, now we play 3 5 2. While you still adjust it to 3 5 2, there's another one, you know. So that is why I haven't seen the cream, you know, of the crop now. So, but uh, maybe surely in the, in the second half, uh, yeah, I'll see something. Uh, look, big up to Kaiser Chiefs. I know they also came from uh, a grave where they finish uh, position nine. And then, but what I like about, uh, what is outstanding about Kaiser Chiefs fan is that they gave the coach another life, you know? Uh, he finished position nine, and then they still had to believe in him. They said they give him another life. And look where he is, where he is. And I, I think, besides that, he did his correction correct, you know? And then they, and that worked for him, you know. So, yeah, I'm not saying they're gonna win the league. Chiefs is not gonna win the league. Sundowns is not gonna win the league. And don't ask me who's gonna win it. Okay, but they did very well for themselves. You can see the the will to win, the anger on the players, you know. So even in English, they say once beaten, once beaten, twice shy, something like, yeah, you know. So yeah, but they, they're doing very well for themselves.